All right, guys. So, Wes here again. So I'm doing some uh, experimenting over here, right? So uh, I got uh, somewhere up there. Uh, there's a uh, go tenna. We're gonna do some uh, go tenna testing today. Okay. So uh, here we go. We got our. As you can see up there. Boom. That's me, and then that's uh, my unit up at home. So. I got some stuff here. So I have a unit sitting up there uh, in my bedroom. I have this tablet here in the truck with the Gotenna that's sitting up there on top of that, uh, that dual band antenna. And then I have another one uh, somewhere up there. Just, just about somewhere up there, there's gonna be another one just slung up there. And uh, we're gonna do some testing around here. I'm gonna go drive around town. I'll see. We'll see how far I can get with that. Uh, when I have that unit, uh, the moment I, the moment I start losing range, ha, I got another one. So this is uh, like my uh, Gotenna Relay Box version one. So it's essentially just a little, little baby Pelican case with a, a Gotenna and. Uh, and it has a, an external battery pack in there uh, just so I can sling this on top of a truck. Uh, top of a truck, what am I talking about? I'll sling it on top of a tree somewhere high, I don't know. Maybe I can find something higher than a tree. Um, and then I can leave that running for about 48, 72 hours and not have to worry about it. Then come back, swap batteries, whatever it is that I gotta do. But yeah, this thing, I've left this thing running for about three days straight uh, it's held the charge so I'm gonna find a place to drop it and then I have that one unit over there that's a uh, relaying stuff to home and then I'm gonna go drive around town so we'll see how that goes stay tuned Whew. all right so check it out guys so here I am with a little portable whatever uh, short-term relay whatever we call it our whatever expedient relay 1.0 all right so we're gonna sling it right up there that's where we're gonna sling it and uh then after that you know we're gonna see how much range out there can we get all right so that's we're gonna we're gonna see uh how far can this thing uh reach i know up here i think i'm looking at looking at my house my house is uh somewhere let me see uh stay there don't fall my house is somewhere uh, about yay down in that direction somewhere down there that's where my house is so we're gonna sling this thing uh on top of the tree and then we're gonna head back down and we're gonna keep doing some uh driving around we'll see what happens hopefully it works all right, all right, all right, guys. So, somewhere up there, geez, I lost it. Ah, there we go. All right, so right about there. That's where my note is. Tied it down over here. Uh, we're gonna be looking at this whole uh, valley out here, and we'll see how far we can reach. I'm not sure how well that thing is gonna talk past this little boulder here uh, in that direction but at least it should be able to talk all the way down this way as far as it can see uh well you know given the constraints of the the power and range and all that stuff but should do a pretty good job at that uh we'll see we'll see uh stay tuned hey what's going on guys this is wes here so before I start with this video, hey, I just wanna, I just wanna mention, I just wanna mention it because uh, I think it it, uh, it needs to be mentioned. I know I I know I hate a lot on Go Tenna sometimes, right? And as much as you know, I love them and I hate them. I do hate the shit out of them sometimes, just because Go Tenna has completely forgotten about their consumer sector and they only care about you know those big bucks Uncle Sam has to offer them. So they have forgotten about. You know the good old customer out here and what their true purpose was one day 
when they decided to come up with this great product that had so much potential and then they just let it go to shit because whatever Uncle Sam is offering a lot of money so fuck you customer get these nuts but hey rents aside so what are we doing today hey we are doing this right now what we're doing is a range test on Goltana Mesh through the ATAC plugin okay so you see that there's some green and red stuff on my screen right now. So what's going on here is, I'm about to zoom out, but this is a view shed. This is a tool that ATAC has, right? It's it's not accurate, but it's a tool that kind of like helps you uh, assess what is your visual line of sight uh, when you measure it at a particular distance in a particular height above sea, right? So I'm about to zoom out, and you're going to see that this big circle here this big old circle that I just marked is, this is a 20 kilometer radius. So right now we are at the edge of this 20 kilometer radius. So what is this 20 kilometer radius going off of? This little blue dot down here, if you can see that little blue dot, if I, if I press on it and you look at the top right, it says relay two. Well, that is just an arbitrary number that I put this particular dot, but if we go down to that particular point, I set up a little relay there. So, uh, what is a relay? A relay is a Gotenna mesh on relay mode. So what is it doing? Well, this Gotenna is just sitting there in a little Pelican case uh, with an external battery, and it's probably gonna sit there for the next couple days so I can do a little bit more testing. But what is it doing? Well, it's essentially relaying uh, everything that it receives uh, back out uh, in this particular circle, right? Um, this was just an arbitrary distance that I gave this uh, relay. As a matter of fact, I could even go ahead and extend this uh, this view shed circle, this perimeter, to about, I don't know, 30 kilometers, who knows? But that's not the point here. The point here is that if you look at it, I am right at the edge of... I am right at the edge of the 20 kilometer radius from this point. And who is this? You may ask. Oh, well, this. This is my other device sitting at home. Oh, and it broadcasted at location 16 seconds ago. So, what is going on here? How are you using a Gotenna mesh to talk so far? I thought Gotenna mesh was trash. Well, yes, in some things it's fucking trash, but in some things it's fucking great. So, what is going on here? This fucking relay right here is essentially picking up whatever the fuck is going on with this guy down here, and it's gonna boom, bounce it back to me. So that's how I know that I broadcast it 16 seconds ago. Let's go ahead and check just for good measure if it broadcast it again. Uh, yeah, sure. Boom. 15, 57 seconds ago. Okay, so let's give it another second. Boom. Let's go ahead and press it again. And it broadcast it six seconds ago. There we go. All right. So right now, what is the distance between these two people? Okay, well then let's go ahead and use this tool right here, this measuring tool. And we're going to go ahead and measure two points. So the first point is going to be me. We're going to measure a point there. And we're going to go ahead and measure how far we are to this relay. Okay, so there we go. We are 20.03 kilometers away from the relay station. Now, let's go ahead and throw another one here. Oh, wait. Why would I do that? Ah, oh, shit. I'm doing all sorts of dumb stuff. Okay, so now we're going to throw another one here and here to this guy. All right, they're about 4.62 kilometers away from each other. Uh from the relay, so it's actually fairly close. So, nine times out of 10, he's gonna be able to reach the uh, the relay, but I may not. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Now, let's go ahead and measure uh, the distance between this little guy here and me. All right, how far are we? Oh, look at that, we are 16.53 kilometers. Uh, let's go ahead and how much, how much is that in miles? For those on cultured fucks that don't know what, uh, you know, kilometers and all that shit is. Uh, let's see. How far it is in miles? Oh, that is 10.27 miles. So we are at 10.27 miles away from each other. However, we are meshing together because of this little relay right there. Uh, which is pretty fucking cool. Alright. 
You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I think it's pretty fucking cool. Because this device is as low power as it gets. That is one watt at 900 megahertz. That is, uh... That's shit. But, uh... Obviously, it's not so shit. Because we're proving here that I can be talking to my other guy down here at 10.27 miles away through this little relay that's sitting on uh, on the side of a mountain and it's just whatever picking up whatever it can whatever it's receiving you know from any other gotenna users that are out there as a matter of fact this gotenna relay is also helpful for anybody else that has a fucking gotenna that wants to use their gotenna on the on the native gotenna app and they want to go ahead and talk to their buddies that gotenna is going to do them a fucking service but guess what motherfucker you're going to drain my fucking battery. So fuck you. Get the fuck off my neck. All right, rants aside. Yes, that's what we did, guys. So essentially, here I am, right at the edge of the coverage for this uh, relay that I just threw on, on the side of a mountain. I just slung it up on a tree and call it a fucking day. Um, so yeah, it's uh, bridging the communications between me who is way out here in the middle of fucking nowhere all the way down to another guy that's just sitting out there. Let's just go ahead for good measure and let's make sure that, uh, um, what do I say? Let's go ahead and make sure that it's still broadcasting and it's not a fucking gimmick. All right, boom. Yeah, it broadcasted 49 seconds ago. And it always keeps changing. And then I go back again. Let's go ahead and check. And it broadcast at 57 seconds ago. And now if I go again, it should give me a three seconds ago it broadcasted. So yes, it is fucking broadcasting. And as you can see, if you look at the top right corner, I am not on fucking Wi-Fi. I am not on fucking nothing. I am just out here in the middle of nowhere with nothing by my little trusty Gotenna sitting up here on my truck. And that fucking relay is just way out there. Uh, you go away. I don't need you anymore. We prove the point. The point is, we're pretty fucking far away, and I'm using this fucking relay that I hung up over there to uh, get Go Tennis talking over distance. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of red areas. Well, that is terrain. Terrain here in Colorado is pretty, it's pretty tight. So, uh, you know, it's pretty challenging to overcome. So that's why you kind of like elevate a unit and uh, offset that. Uh, that terrain, uh, you know, you kind of like uh, defeat that terrain challenge by setting up a unit high enough to where everybody else can see it. Uh, all those red spots, yeah, they're pretty fucking accurate. So if I go and park right down here in the middle of this area right there, yeah, uh, I'm probably not going to be talking. But I took a pretty cool route. I took a route down here where everything is green. And then I just took another route down here and then kind of like out here. And then here I am now. So... Yeah, it's it stayed pretty spot on. It was communicating, um, so yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool. And yeah, that's that's what we got going on right now, guys. Uh, it's a it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool thing that you know. Although Gotenna's have remained unchanged for the past, uh, I think three four years, they really haven't done shit with them. Uh, they're still a pretty viable product. Um, it's just. It's just a shame that they haven't done anything to, I don't know, maybe improve them a little bit. But hey, nonetheless, it's a, it's a pretty cool product. Then again, you know, there's other products out there like Meshtastic and shit like that. It's pretty cool, stu it's pretty cool stuff too. Uh, but nonetheless, this is as plug and play as it gets. Uh, so that's why, that's why I really like Gotenna because it's just plug and play. Freaking load the plug in on the goddamn phone. Pair the goddamn Gotenna and boom, you're set up. In like two minutes, you're up and running. And like this is straight out of the book, straight out of the box. I'm not talking about you need to do some extra configuration. No, all you gotta do is you pull it out of the fucking box, pull the phone out of the box, load the goddamn ATAC, load the plug in, and then boom, you're set. You're good. You're running and doing crazy stuff. So yeah, that's it, man. I just wanted to show that cool range test. Uh, this is a live test right now because. That phone right there is still broadcasting. It's just sitting in my fucking room. And then here I am just kind of like hanging out there. And as you, and if you can see, boom. You know what? Just for good measure. Let me go ahead and send a message. And then I'll, I'll check him when I get home. Test.
number 12 in the middle of fucking nowhere There we go. That sounds pretty. That sounds pretty good. And uh, now I should be able to check that test uh, message whenever I get home. Again, like I said, guys, I am ten miles away from this other guy, and it's pretty cool that we can still communicate and do all that other stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to uh, do this cool test because uh, I really haven't done this in. A, I, I I've been I've been meaning to put together this project and just kind of like sling that relay up on the side of the mountain and do all that cool stuff. Uh, but I haven't gotten to it. I don't know, maybe procrastination, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool that, uh, the project actually worked. So yeah, it's that man. It's a, it's a cool deal. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I, I apologize for, uh, for my cursing. You know, I'm, I'm working on it. Uh, I just curse a lot when I'm excited, and I'm excited about this coolness right here. Uh, so, yeah, that's that, man. Uh, Y'all take it easy, and stay tuned for more videos. Who knows when. All right, bye.